It's an exciting day at Kowalski Mountain. The sawmill has arrived. Shortly before Christmas, Philip got the call that the sawmill was en route to Kentucky and was ready for delivery. So he packed up his things and headed to Kowalski Mountain to receive this very exciting delivery. After researching all the available options, Philip settled on a Woodland Mills HM130 Max Woodlander Portable Sawmill. The days leading up to delivery were wet in Kentucky and the ground was too soft for the delivery truck to make it down the driveway. Philip and the delivery driver unloaded the sawmill at the gravel pad that's adjacent to the road. The entire shipment, including the trailer, the sawmill, and extra accessories that Philip ordered, is quite the shipment, weighing in at 2,199 pounds. Unloading the sawmill from the delivery truck was the easy job. Now Philip needs to unload the sawmill from the trailer before he can head back to Florida. Thankfully, Philip can operate the bobcat like it's an extension of his hand. He's really good at maneuvering it and also, due to his tree work experience, he knows how to handle the chains and straps to handle heavy materials. I wasn't able to make the trip to Kentucky to help him receive the sawmill, so Philip did a great job of self-filming the delivery and unloading of the sawmill. 
He even used multiple cameras so that he could get views from the bobcat that he has while he's driving. Now for the challenging part, to get this big box off the trail. The largest pallet on the trailer weighs well over a thousand pounds. And the bobcat is not tall enough to lift it up over the edge and out of the trailer. So Philip has to do some fancy maneuvering to get this box off the trailer. Philip calls this maneuver a shimmy. He backs up and inch by inch he moves that bobcat along the edge of the trailer so that he can lift that box up and pull it out the back of the trailer. Once he's maneuvered enough to the end of the trailer, He's able to lift and move the box right out the back side of the trailer. Now it's time to unload it.
Notice how those rear wheels are lifting up as Philip maneuvers around with that heavy load on the front of the Bobcat. Once he got the heavy pallets lifted off the trailer, he stowed all the smaller pieces in secure storage. For now, the sawmill is on the property, and when we return in the spring, we'll get to assemble it. Stay tuned to Kowalski Mountain on YouTube and also at the blog at www.kowalskimountain.com. We'll be sure to share with you the trial run of the sawmill in action.